Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, I'm going to explain how we can create the flexible spending account plan using quick create plan option under the benefit module. So just move on to the application. And here I'm logged in as a implementation user. Now I'm going to go to ad benefit administration option and click on the plan configuration option. Okay, here you can just go to the plan quick and under that you have to click on the quick create plan option and I'm just going to set the effective as of date here this time and just click on the search otherwise it not set and just oh sorry I have to click on the quick create plan option not create option okay i have to click this option and here you can see the effective start date is now set here so i have to give the name of this plan which is a b03 flexible Pending account. Now I'm going to use in a program and date level is a legal entity here. I'm going to select the plan type, which is a other. And here legal entity as US. Okay. And the start year is 22 to 26. Okay. And I'm not going to use this option field here so I just uncheck this box so now it's disappear from here okay now I'm just simply gonna save this so it's completed now this is the summary page I'm just going to back and search if it's created or not. So you can see here the flexible spending account we just created. We can also see the hierarchy and the summary option here. So you can see the hierarchy. We added the supplemental life and uh, here you can see the option under this plan and the plan is uh, right now in a pending status right so if you want to change this you have to go to the plan and click on the edit option there action and then correct and you can then you can then uh, change the status uh, like if i just Go to this. Click on the action, then correct. And from now, under the status, you can change this on a into the active. Okay. So first, you have to just create the plan. And why? Because uh, why it is in a pending status? Because it's give you a chance to review your plan one more time and then deploy it okay so this is how we can create the uh, plan using the quick create plan option the other options are you can use the quick create plan from the program option also uh, so i just move on to the slide one more time and here uh, these are the options so we uh, 
I explain you about the quick create plan option here. So you can also create the plan using the quick create program option, also the plan configuration process. Okay, so how we can create from these options. So you can see there is a program option, just click on it and then click on the quick create program option from here. Okay, so if you just scroll down and you can see here the plans in a program, right? So you can see the create plan option. If you just click on this tab, now here, from here, you can create your plan. Okay, so this is the second way from where you can create the plan. We um, explore this uh, create program option in our upcoming sessions. Okay, and the next is a guided process. So if you just click on the plan option again, and here you can see the create options. So here you can see all the detailed guided process, the basic detail, the additional configuration, the eligibility, the enrollment, certification, designation requirement, primary care. So these are the guided process flow. Basically, uh, this option, the plan configuration process. So this is how you can create from the uh, um, plan under the create option. This is a guided flow. So we i'll explain you this about in our upcoming session so i just explain you how we can create the sub, uh, flexible spending account plan using quick create plan option and what are the ways to creating the plans so i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching the video